Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Standing Eleven Show. Republic of Ireland take on Finland away in Helsinki on Wednesday evening in the UEFA Nations League. And I'm going to pick the team that I would like to see face Finland. In goal, Darren Randolph. I think as long as we're kind of going to go in this route where Stephen wants to take the games competitively, I think Darren will be the keeper that will remain in there until maybe we get a couple of friendlies, um, probably in the new year, uh, and maybe Mark Travis can come in and have a look at him there and have a look at him properly, see how he would take in a international friendly. I know he played a half before and done okay, and so did Kieran O'Hara, but I think maybe giving him a full 90, maybe it might just be out of the equation in, in this game, I feel, himself and Cuevin and Kelleher, I don't think they'll get in. So it's for me, in goal, Darren Randolph, then right back, I'd go Matt Doherty. Um, Cyrus so Christie did all right the other day, but the only reason he was on on the pitch really was because Matt Doherty had to go and play centre back, and now Stephen has cover in those positions. So I would stick Matt right back, and if there's any sort of niggling injuries, then maybe Cyrus can come on. But starting, I would go Matt Doherty. He's been the best Irish player probably in the in the last two years at club level. Hopefully, he can start showing some signs of that. At international level now. Centre defence, we have Shane Duffy. For me, you know, absolute man mountain. And I think due to the fact that we're down so many players, Kevin Long got injured the other day, but he's still in the squad. I think he'll be key to the players around him just to keep them kind of calm and stuff like that. And I've gone with Dara O'Shea to partner him in defence. I feel Dara has a good head in the shoulders, shown so far with West Brom this season that Slavin Bilic has put a lot of trust in him to come in and play the Premier League games and he's done well. I watched him specifically in the Everton game, although they lost 5-2, he was he was quite good on the ball, quite good defensively. The scoreline probably didn't reflect the result in that game in terms of his performance. But look, um, I think Dara coming in from the 21s is going to be good for, for the senior team and good for him and, and I hope he gets his first senior cap on Wednesday night. Then left back, I'm going to go Ender Stevens as well. So keeping it with kind of a, a steady back four. You've got three out of the four that are kind of a mainstay. And then Darrow O'Shea obviously being the young lad to kind of come in. And you have Shane Duffy, Ender Stevens either side of him basically. And Darren Randolph behind him. Which I think is a very solid kind of base to work off. And then kind of moving moving up the pitch. Then Ender's, Ender's been brilliant the past two games I think. And a lot of play comes through him on the left hand side. And he, he always seems to be quite high as well in Steven's system. So I think he could be good. And look, if our, if Ryan Manning starts, I'd be happy as well. But either way, we've got good options at left back now, which we didn't have probably previously when Stephen Moore was the, the first choice. So, yeah, I think that's a good back four and goalkeeper. Then moving into midfield, James McCarthy, he is apparently fit. So I think if James McCarthy's fit, he plays that defensive midfield role. He's the best at it in our squad, I think. I think most people will agree. So if he's just in there, in that specific role of just sitting and kind of cleaning up and allowing the fullbacks then to get high and get involved in the attack, I think that's when you get the best version of James McCarthy. So that's who I've gone with. There, then to partner him in midfield, I would go with Jason Malumbi and Jeff Hendrick. Um, eyebrows might be raised about Jeff Hendricks and why is he getting picked again why haven't you gone with Jack Byrne and Conor Howerton I just feel as though with Jeff and Jason in the team there's a bit of balance there and it allows the midfield to support the attack then Jason was obviously brilliant in the last game against Wales got man of the match and was absolutely outstanding Jeff was in and out of the game not really involved you could say and Howerton played the McCarthy role really, really well. But as I said, if James McCarthy's there, I'd like to have James McCarthy in. I think this could be the last chance for Hendrick to impress because there's a lot of players chomping at the bit there to try and come into the squad. You've got Jason Knight and a couple of other players there who could really start putting pressure on Jeff Hendrick because I don't think he's really had pressure in that position. I think a lot of managers look to him as the, the go-to, as that attacking midfielder. Whereas I think someone like a Jason Knight could come in there. Jack Burns another option as well, but I don't think that he'll start. Hope he comes on and plays a part because it'd be a real shame that if he's in there and not playing, um, what was the point in calling him from the first place, you know? And I, I do respect that 
you know, James McLean got sent off the last day and, and he may have came on for him, but it might have been just Toka Jest Jest for five minutes. But yeah, obviously James McLean suspended for this one on, on the left hand side. So I am going to go with Aaron Connolly on the left hand side of a front three. And I think we've really missed him and his directness in the last couple of games, especially the Slovakia game. I felt as though that game was made for him to come on and be a hero and get himself a goal or an assist or, you know, really make him stamp on his international career. He's still only young, he's still only 20 and, you know, the goals will come from him, I'm sure, and the assists and everything else. Um, really looks a, a really good player, I think. And, yeah, I think we always have to have him in the team because he's such a threat with his, with his pace in behind. Then, on the right-hand side, I'm going to go with Robbie Brady cutting in on his left foot on that side. I think you have to have either Howard or Brady in the team just down to their set piece sorry, ability. And yeah, so I think Brady on this occasion would be the ideal scenario. I think minutes for Robbie is the thing that he's been lacking. I think if he gets minutes now for Ireland, he could maybe take that back into his club form. I've said that on previous shows, but I think he did look good against Wales and... He did look decent against Slovakia and when he came on against Bulgaria as well last month, he looked good. Um, got injured then for Burnley and now he's kind of coming back into fitness. So hopefully if he can get in and kind of get a little bit of a run, again, I, I hope then I would have him definitely um, starting on the right wing. And then up front, I'm going to go with Adam Ida. Again, I think a lot of people are doubting him and saying he's not that good and something like that but they just haven't seen him play enough Stephen obviously has an eye for a player and he keeps starting him but he did in the two games last month so he obviously sees something in him and whenever I've watched him for Norwich he's looked exciting I think he could be the one that probably gets the goal against Hel Hel or sorry, against Finland in Helsinki um, I feel as though he has it in his locker and I think we're only going to start seeing the true nature of these players and how good they are maybe in this month and or this game and next month so just stick with it like a lot of people want to put the boot in in these players already and they're only young lads and not really gives them any chance a lot of people are crying out for all these players to put in now they're being put in now they're not good enough according to some people which is absolute nonsense but look uh some people just want to stay negative i like to stay positive and and believe that ireland have good attacking young players coming through and Stephen Kenny wants to get the best out of them. Shane Long can do a job off the bench and there's other players there as well I'm sure will feature. Daryl Horgan's probably a little bit unfortunate to miss out. It's just that Aaron Connolly, I feel as though you have to have him in there. Let me know your thoughts on my stand 11 in the comments and don't forget to subscribe as well. I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.